in the past 20 years there was no president of China's uh, China uh, came to Hungary so it is a great opportunity for the Hungarian Chinese relations and especially in this year we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of the China and Hungarian diplomatic relations so uh, and in the past 14 years actually when the Hungarian government uh, announced the open to the east policy the Hungarian and Chinese uh, economic relations uh, developed very fast such as the Hungarian export to China doubled and the uh, import from China is tripled and also the uh, the economical the the economical cooperation in the Hungarian and Chinese relation it became the four percent of the whole Hungarian economical cooperation also from the view of the FDI the foreign direct investment China is the biggest investor in Hungary and it is a great help for the Hungarian economic especially in the 21st century there are a lot of cooperation they also can help the Chinese companies to invest invest in Hungary and uh, we also have uh, more than 20,000 Chinese people who is living in Hungary this is the biggest community Chinese community in the Central Eastern European region so they are also open for them but mostly they are working with the Chinese companies or other companies they can give a lot of loan for the companies to invest not only for the Chinese companies but other companies too and uh, they can help the uh, financial cooperation between Hungary and China and um, as in the BRI, the Belt and Road, uh, there is the Wutong, the five uh, connectivity. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think in between Hungary and China, it's very good. The first is political. We can see that the political level is very strong between the two countries. And the financial, as I have mentioned, Hungary became the financial mm -hmm. uh, center for the Chinese companies. And there is also the infrastructure. We do have the Budapest-Belgrade, mm -hmm. the railway. And the fifth point is also very important, the people-to-people -people cooperation. Uh, in Hungary, we do have the Hungary and Chinese uh, uh, bilangu bilanguage uh, school. In Hungary, we do have five Confucian institutions, and uh, we, uh, the Chinese uh, government is planning to open the cultural center, the Chinese cultural center in Budapest too. So we do have a lot of uh, cultural uh, cooperation. I think it's about uh, the, the new world order. In the 21st century, we realize that we are witnessing a new world order. And uh, in the past world order, what was a unipolar world order, the Western countries, they were the hegemony and the, they were the biggest countries, they were the leader. And now they feel that they are losing their first position because the new world order will become a multipolar, where uh, U.S., EU, and China, Russia, Indonesia, India, and other countries, they will be uh, main rulers mm -hmm. of this world order. So that's why uh, the EU and the Western media, they are demonizing China, mm -hmm. because they don't want that China developing faster and faster, because if China developing too fast, um, the Western country will be the second or third very soon. Mm -hmm. And they are afraid of this, so that's why it's, uh, they are demonizing, they are doing a lot of ideological and political stuff. But actually, as the EU has a lot of criti criticism for China, the EU members, as I have mentioned, the EU members, they are seeking for the cooperation with China.